In today's video, we are going to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. We are going to create another solid color. Copy this as code. Create a new layer with a soft time brush. We are going to set foreground to this hex code. Opacity is set to 100. Flow is set to 100. With the right bucket key, we are going to increase the brush size and click once. Reduce the opacity. Create a new layer with a soft time brush. Foreground is set to white and we are going to click once. Set blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab our assets for this tutorial. Holding down the shift key, we are going to select all these layers. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. With this layer selected, we are going to right click and convert type into a smart object, Ctrl T to transform. We are going to position this right here. We drop the layer. With this layer selected, we are going to press Ctrl J to make a copy. We position it right here. Ctrl T and we are going to transform that. We rotate that a bit. We are going to make a copy of this as well. Ctrl J to make a copy. We zoom in and we are just going to transform that a bit. With the layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. Create a max with a max selector. We grab the brush tool, right click and set hardness to 100. Opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to black. And we are just going to mask out this portion this way. With this layer selected, with the max selected, you grab the gradient tool. Gradient is set to foreground to transparent. Then we are just going to drag this way to erase. With the master selected, we are going to grab the brush tool. Right click and change the roundness. Hardness is set to zero. Reduce opacity. Foreground is set to black. Increase the size by the right bracket key. And we are just going to make some few clicks to mask out all this portion. We use black to mask out and we are going to use white to paint it back.
we are going to create a curve adjustment layer right above all layers. Reduce the opacity. And we are going to be painting some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create a curve adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. So the effect applies only to the layer. Reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft turn brush, we are going to increase the opacity. For one inside to white and we are going to paint some shadows. Reduce the opacity. We are going to paint another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer with the mask selected. Control high to invert with a soft turn brush. We are going to paint some shadows. We do same for highlight. With the mask selected, we invert that. With a soft hand brush, fog when it's set to white. We take care of opacity and we are going to paint some highlight. So it's basically the same technique. You create an exposure adjustment layer. You invert the mask with a soft hand brush. You set fog to white and you paint. I'm just going to repeat the same technique for this layer as well. Right over here, we are going to create a new layer. With the soft time brush, opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to black. Right click and change roundness of the brush. Increase brush size with the right bucket key. We are going to change our roundness over here in the brush settings. So we are just going to create some contact shadows right above here. With the move to set, then move to soft light. Ctrl T, we are going to transform that. Create a new layer right above all layers with a soft time brush. Right click and change roundness to normal. And we click once. I'm going to set blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. With this task selected, we are going to paint some shadows.
once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object. Then we'll go for camera. Roll. So filter, camera, roll, filter. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the camera roll settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit touch. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.